Hey guys, it's Corey at Linda's. Um, we get a lot of questions on some of our pantographs that have multiple different colors on them. Like for instance, this one is the Pumpkin Seed Twist, number 205. It is a super cute pantograph, really easy to do, but sometimes the colors can get a little bit confusing. Now, we do have directions on the pantograph, but let's be honest, it's all easier to understand when there's a video associated with it. So I thought I'd sit down and put one of those together for you. So with this pantograph, you're gonna get it lined up like you do with any normal pantograph. Once you're gonna be going from right to left on this, and we're gonna line up the left side of the quilt from the front or the right side of the quilt from the back with the side of this pantograph right here. So we'll double check with our laser light that the side of this is the side of the quilt. Next, you're gonna do the pass one start. Now pass one is going to be this complete red line across the whole top of this pattern, all the way from this section, all the way down to the left of the end of the pattern or whenever your quilt stops. So always make sure you mark that as well. So you're gonna finish pass one, you'll tie off your thread, pull up your bobbin, tie it off everything, and you're gonna come back and now you're gonna work on pass two. Now pass two is where it gets a little interesting because of all the color, but I'm here to break it down for you. So we're gonna start right up here and I've got my highlighter to kind of show you where we are going and I might move this around so you can see it a little bit better. There we go. So we're gonna start here with our machine and we're gonna travel down this line. The big thing about our pantographs when we have multiple colors on them is when you're traveling the line, continue to follow the line that's the same color. So coming down this one, this is a black line we're going into a green intersection. So we don't wanna travel into green because we came down on a black line, which means we're gonna come out of this intersection on that same black line. You're gonna follow the color. So we're traveling down, we're gonna continue down this till we get to this point, traveling with the same color line. So now we're gonna to go to the left and we're coming into an intersection. Always remember, follow the color that you went in with. So we're going in on a black line, traveling out on a black line. Now this one, as we're approaching, we're coming up to a green intersection. So we're going in on the green and out on the green. So in on the green, out on the green. Coming into this intersection again is another green line. Going into the green, out on the green. Coming into our next intersection is a blue line, which means we're gonna travel in on the blue and out on the blue. Doing good so far? Super easy concept once you get it broken down. So we're gonna keep traveling down this line. We're coming into an intersection on a red line. So we're gonna travel in on the red and out on the red. Coming into our next intersection, say it with me. Coming in on the red, and out on the red. Traveling up. Now we're coming up to the top here. We're going in on black and out on black. In on black, out on black. This one we're going in on red and out on red. Now this part right here, I need to have our designers take a look at this because this one is where it gets a little confusing. And I know it's made because it's a repeat, but we always need to keep that in, in mind. For this one, when you're getting to this intersection where there are no colors, so this after this first kind of almost full portion, when you get to this section, you are gonna travel up on the black kind of off to the right here, kind of curving, doing a, um, a backwards, oh, yeah, backwards C. <laughs> I don't know why I had to think about that. Uh, but you're gonna travel up to the right. So up to the right on this. When you get to this intersection, keep traveling up. Keep traveling up. So we're gonna travel up to this intersection and then we're gonna come down. We're coming down, we're continuing that downward motion. When we went up, we followed up the whole way. Now we're going down the whole way. So down to this one. Now that that's complete, we're gonna come off to the left. going into that intersection on the black line and coming back out on the black line. Green to green, 
green to green, blue to blue, and you're gonna continue that same method all the way through. So we're gonna draw, uh, draw through that rather quickly just so we can lock down the concept. So in on the red, out on the red, in on the red, out on the red, in on the black, out on the black, in on the black, out on the black, in on the red, out on the red. This is where we're coming to that there's no color in the intersection section, intersection section. <laughs> we're gonna come in and always remember you're going up to the right for this. And you can even, what I would do now that you have this video and if you have this pattern, I would pull out this pantograph and I would be putting arrows kind of traveling my way, the way this goes, maybe even some notes on that section. This one's down. And down. That way you always have that visual there because when you get in the move of this, when you're getting kind of on the flow in the pantographs, it's always nice to have those little notes and then those arrows go that way. I would probably do it with like a black pen or something or like a red Sharpie or something like that. So we're here, we're gonna go up on the arrows, continuing to follow up on the arrows, and then we're dropping down on the arrows, and then out to the left to continue on this same piece. So you're gonna follow this all the way until you get to the end, and then you'll use the, two dot, the method here with the dots to roll up and line it up and go to your next section.